in Dartmouth in the UK, technicians are working on a sort of aquatic bicycle pump, which could be the future of renewable energy. In tests, the sea razor has produced enough energy to power a large lamp. But this is only a prototype, and the finished sea razor will be around 13 times bigger than this. It's really only a bicycle pump with a float on it. As this pump goes up and down, it sucks seawater in and pumps seawater out purely through the action of the waves. Alvin Smith came up with the idea about 10 years ago while playing with an inflatable ball in a swimming pool. Sea Razor pumps seawater using a vertical piston between two buoys, one on the surface of the water, the other suspended underwater and tethered to a weight on the seabed. We've got the Sea Razor in the water. That will be operated by the waves and swell. Anything from half a metre swell uh, or more, it will work. You pump it to a tank or a reservoir, and then you can hydro on demand electricity through your turbine. As the ocean swell moves the buoys up and down, the piston works like a pump, sending seawater through a pipe to an onshore turbine to produce electricity or to a coastal storage reservoir. It can then be released through a generator as required. The ideal site for the machines is in water about 25 metres deep near a cliff face. With Sea Razor, low carbon energy can be stored in reservoirs on land and then released when needed, unlike energy from many renewable sources which is only available intermittently.